Sale pues, Jerry, pégale, güey. No, hay macizo, cabrón. Hay, hay macizo, bro. Hay algo leve. Ahí va. ¡Ah! All right, man. So, now that we got Jerry drunk. <laughs> He's hey, eating nacho Doritos. They got me hella fuck. They got me eating Doritos, and I'm running out. Um, I know we kind of spoke about this already in person, but it's not documented, so uh -huh. I figured we document it. But um, essentially, like, what would you say made you start YouTube? Like, I know you kind of went back to when you were a child, you were doing it, but like, did you just keep doing it as a kid? Is that how it was? It just never stopped. Let me swallow this hole. I need water. Oh, that motherfucking hard to swallow. <laughs> That's what she said, bro. <laughs> ah, I swallowed. <laughs> no gay shit. Nah, so I've been doing YouTube since I've been trying doing YouTube for my whole childhood. And then until now, maybe like two years back, it just started blowing up. And that's about it. I mean, like I told you earlier. I went through uh, my childhood of, uh, what was it? BB Gun Wars. Video games. Shuffling. Video games. And then into the truck scene. And then the truck scene is what blew me up, thank God. And then um, recording my parents and the, our work, what we do for our living, our work. And that's what blew us up, yeah. Damn. But so when that started blowing up, what, what was your first thought? Were you like, okay, like this is my new career? Or were you kind of like, let's see where it goes? No, or? so when it, start, when it first started blowing up, it was just like... I didn't think I didn't think of I didn't think of like a career. I didn't think about the money. I just thought like this is uh that's a good question. I never thought about it. Dude, were you no. just like this is fun? Yeah, yeah, I was like this is fun and this is what like this is what I've been dreaming of my whole life. But I never knew it would pay off as in like it would be it would, it would become my job and maybe later I would tell my parents. I didn't I didn't think of like that. It just to me it was just like This is kind of like what I dreamed of, and I just got to follow my dreams until, I guess, yeah, it would pay into something else, you know? Doesn't it feel weird when, like, you're living your dream, and it feels kind of like it got here too quick? Like, yeah. you're living it, and you're just like, wait, how am I already here? Like, yes. hell yeah, that's true, because, um, I like, like I told you, I've been doing YouTube for 2010, and then I want to say I blew up maybe 20... 18 2017 eight years bro eight years it took me about eight years to blow up Damn. and then i mean i feel like it took long for me to blow up but then right now where it's it's starting to pick up it's just like i'm blowing up so quick where it's like i'm not ready for this you know like like yeah i don't know i don't know how to my body don't know how to react i don't know how to react it's just like it's happening too soon and it's just yeah i agree no and, that, and that's why pass. i said that because i feel like I don't, I can't have that conversation with just the homies. Like, they would never understand it. Like, exactly. I don't know what this feels like, but sometimes you're in it and you're just like, I can't believe this is really going on already. I was like, telling you earlier, everything happens so quick. But like I told you, I feel like it's God's plan. Like, it's just, if you've been giving it your all, I feel like God is like, no, you, you tried so hard. I'm going to pay you back. You're like, you're going to, you deserve this. You're going to earn it. And that's it, you know? Because dude, you yeah. you can't just hop in the YouTube game and just like, I want money, I want fame, I want to blow up. It doesn't work like that, you know? Yeah. You told me your side of the story, and you worked hard, and you've been trying for a while yeah. as well, you know? Yeah. And same thing with me. Like, I've been trying for a while, and I just never gave up, and then just it just so happened, and here we are today. Damn, bro. And, you know, it's kind of like, I had asked, we had conversations already before the camera was on, so a lot of this we kind of talked about, so it might be a little repetitive, Um, which is why I'm not jumping into a lot of the same questions, but uh, I, I find it really cool, bro, that you're just as normal as, let's say, the average like Latino that's 12 years old that um, is working, helping their parents. And like, you know that feeling, bro, when you're like helping your parents and you know you're in poverty and you're like, this feels fucked up. Like, yeah. even seeing them, like, you know they're such good people, and you're like, this is fucked up. Like, you don't deserve this. Like, why Why? Do, why does my family and I have to go through this shit, right? Yeah, and then then you start getting it, and you're just kind of like, whoa, when did this happen, you know? like What did I do to deserve yeah, this, right? Yeah, yeah, you think of all those days that you worked, and nothing happened. Do you get me? Like, you want to work, it felt miserable, and you came back, and you just did it again, and, and again, just, and again. And you just blew up. 
It's just like, what did I do to deserve this? But then you think about it deep down inside, you're like, in reality, you work so hard right. for this, you know? So it's just, like I told you, it's God's plan, you know? Nobody, you, you can't plan your future. It's just, to me, I mean, everybody's religious, you know? But to right. me, it's God's plan. Yeah. It's just like, that's it. That's your destiny. And But wouldn't you say, though, that like, okay, right? But then like, let's think of it. Oh, you had all these relatives. Everybody could have done what you did. But nobody did. But you. But you. So it's kind of like, isn't that one of those moments where you're like, what the f-? Like, yeah, yeah. how right. do you explain that? You know, you can't, like. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> it's such a, and I think for the viewers watching, you're going to be like, what are you, this is a hard thing to grasp your mind like, around. Like, like I told you earlier, like, it's just, once you become a YouTuber and then you start, What's that word? Would you say like achieving or, or what are you trying to go Yeah, yeah kind of kind of like you want, once you start achieving your goals, it's just like, damn, like I went through the hardest. Right. And then that's what made me, you know? Yeah. It's just like, I, I mean, everybody thinks we have it so easy, right? So yeah, it's just like, no, yeah. well, no, Mr. THC has it so easy. Jerry 2 has it so easy. He could do it. Why can't I? It's just nobody thinks of what you went through and what I went through. I told you my side earlier. You told me your side. It's just like we suffered. We both suffered. It's not as easy as it seems. But like I told you, it's. I feel like it's just it was our time to shine, in other words, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like I was telling him earlier, I was like, I feel like it's generations of hard work. Like your grandparents, your great-grandparents, like all the hard work they put in, you know, like. It just like we got lucky to be alive in this time because I feel like one thing you guys don't understand is like nobody is famous or big without putting in work. Like it takes a lot of work. Not, e- not, 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 not like, even that, but just I feel like some people think like all they care about is like, oh, oh you know what? I want to be famous. I want to I want people to ask me for pictures. I want I want the money to right. come. I want to be able to buy whatever I want. But it's not even about that. Right. You got to think about putting in the work. You got to think about, like, just, like, don't think about that. I feel like every every time they ask me for advice, what could I do? It's just don't think about the money. Don't think about the fame. Don't think about that. Think about earning it because you really fucking love mm. it from the heart. Right? Yeah. Yo, that's it, bro. And that's so, that's so hard to explain. That's so hard, like, because when you don't got it, all you can think about is the other stuff. Yeah, it's like, oh, I want to be famous. I want I want to live in the luxury. I want to have money to buy whatever I want. Mm-hmm. I want to travel. I want this easy and this and that. But it's not about that in reality. Before I started YouTube, it was just like, like that, I do right? it because it I that, fucking yeah. love it. That's it. Yeah. I, I was little. I told you I was little. I was like 12 years old. All I wanted was just like people to see my videos. For, I was 12 why would I be worried about money when I, when I thought my parents were rich at the time, right? Yeah, you don't know money yet. You, you don't know money yet, so just all you want is just people like to watch your stuff. You you don't care about fame, you don't care about money and this and that, you know? But then it just so happens where you get it, where it's just like it's God's plan, you know? And you know what? When I when I feel like when I think about how, what it is to become a YouTuber and be successful. It makes me think of like almost like what it is to be like a rapper or a good musician. Like it's one in a million. Like it's not that easy. It's not that like oh yeah you're, you're gonna get it, mijo. You wanna be, but it, it it trips me out to see that we're accomplishing that at our age. Well, it trips me out. <laughs> it's just like why out of a million people? Why me? Right. That's you a know? big thing too. That yeah. to, to me it just trips me out like. I mean, I did everything to deserve it, and I feel like I earned my spot now, but it still trips me out, like, why me? Could have you know? been anybody, right? It could have like, been anybody, you know? But still, it still trips me out to, like, why me? Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. And this is probably a really strange video for you guys to watch, because there's not a lot of times where you hear two YouTubers really talk about, like, the ins and outs. I feel like... You guys are so used to watching content of just watching us up here. But right now we're here and we're just talking to you guys like as people, as like people that went through it just like you, working a job. He he works a job. Like, right? Do you still are you still doing that currently? Yes, with my parents. I think that to that to me, that makes me want to get a job, bro. <laughs> if I'll be honest with you, that makes me want to get a job just because 
It feels it feels like that part of normal that I miss. No, if that but makes it's, sense. It's, like, it, it's not even that, but it's just like before YouTube, I was working with them, so I feel like now because of YouTube, I can't betray my parents. Like, mm, okay, so now, deep, I, yeah. so now, now I got money, now I got fame. All right, I'm gonna push my parents to the curb. When, mm. when, when I needed money and when I needed work, my parents were there to give me work. Mm. So how am I gonna kick them to the curb That's when, nice. when, when, yeah. when they didn't do that to me? You know? Yeah, like when so you were at that uh, time of need, they were there. Exactly. Like, yeah. So right now. I don't need the money. I don't need. I don't need their. I don't need my parents' money. I don't need their work. But I'm still holding it down because it's my oh. family. It's my parents. Regardless, right now, my parents do not pay me anymore because I told them, you know what? I'm here because you guys. I don't need you to pay me. I'm working for free. But it's not about the money. It's not about anything else. But it's because it's my family and it's my because my parents and because they were there to give me their hand when I needed it. You know. So what advice, bro, and, and I want you to really think about this. What advice would you have for the 12-year-old kid that's going to work with their parents every day and that's feeling kind of like, like... This is hard. This something? is like, yeah, like, when am I going to get out of this cycle? Like, when am I going to be able to do more, you know? Like, what do you recommend them? Because me, I feel like I wasn't the best child. I feel like... I, I took a lot of that anger into my parents and was like, why are we like this? Like, like I would get mad, you know? I would kind of mm -hmm. like, instead of just being grateful to be like, man, like I got hardworking parents. It was like, I was mad. I was mad that I was there and that I wasn't partying like okay. the homies. Like, so you got a good point because I won't lie. I'm not going to be something that I'm not. I used to be the same as you. Mm. I, I just I just wouldn't tell them. But the thing is, so I used to go to work with them, right? And and we some there was points where my parents did not have any work, mm -hmm. and they just had to go knock like door by door basically to their clients, obviously. Wow. And there used to be points where I was in my fucking I want to say 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, and I used to I used to pray to God, bro, like please God, don't let my parents find work because I want to go home. You were just like yeah yeah you wanted yeah. to just be home so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah so right yeah. now I feel haunted like. Mm. I used to be such a little kid praying to God to give my parents no work. Like, that's fucked that's up. That's crazy, you know? But yeah. now, I'm just like, I still go to my parents. There's, there, there, I won't lie to you, there's days now where my parents sometimes don't have work. And now it's a different story. I'm, I pray to God, like, please, God, give my parents work, you know. We got to do this, we got to do that. Even if we have to record a video, give them work so we can record a video, you know. But there's points where I used to pray to God. To not give my parents work just so I could go home. Damn. In other words, I was lazy, you know. But it just it's just it. you gotta grow, you gotta be mature. And later, now I'm telling you right now, it's just like I pray to God, like please give my parents work every day, even if I don't go. Because now I'm taking a couple of days more off, focusing more on YouTube, trying to get secure my bag to where my parents is just like. But I still pray to God, like please God give my parents, mm -hmm. give my parents. A job, you know, whether it's a couple hundred bucks, just so they could feel secure. Right. You know? That's crazy you said that. When um, I've never said this, especially not on camera, but when I was a kid, uh, I never met my biological dad. So it was just my stepdad. But my stepdad taught me everything as far as working hard. He taught me what it was to be a man. I'll put it to you like that. Um, But when I was a kid, he used to make me work so much that I would wish he wouldn't come home. Um, that sounds so fucked up Like when my dad would get home My stomach would hurt Because I knew This fool's about to put me to work And I, it, that sounds so fucked up It breaks my heart now Because I love my dad yeah, Exactly like I could never imagine him Not coming home from work You know what I'm saying But when I was a kid bro That's how lazy I was Yeah yeah That I was like ungrateful I didn't understand that Like just having you know A dad having a mom was so big Like I and that's crazy you said that. That just made me think of my no, childhood. No, I'm telling you. you know, I'm telling like, you. It's just, I feel like we all go through the same shit, but we don't really, like... Like, we feel like we're the only ones in the mm. world going through that shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. But in reality, it's not like that. I feel like a lot of us go through it. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of rich kids who don't have to go through that, and that's a blessing. Right. But I feel right. like the majority of us, like, we go through the struggle where we all go through that, you know? Mm. And... It's pretty hard to be honest, but I feel like that's what makes us today. That's what you makes know? us us, huh? That's what yeah, makes us yeah. us, to be honest, because 
and to me that I feel that's what makes me right now like I'm telling you that that breaks my heart where I used to think like that and that's what makes me like you know I gotta change I gotta change that in my family because like like I'm not trying to, I'm not, I don't want my, I, like, I used to feel like that. Imagine how my parents feel. Like, I was only doing that. Like, I told you earlier, I've been working with my with my parents for the rest, for, like, my whole life, basically. But, like, I was, obviously, I was, like, three, four, five, six. How hard could I work? I was a little right. kid. They only took me to work because they had to, because they didn't have a babysitter, right? right. But I want to, I want to say maybe my 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds, that's when I started working. But how hard could you work when you're, that old, you know. Yeah, you know. So they, 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 yeah. on, they only took me to work because they really have to, not because they wanted to, you know. Mm -hmm. But that that's what makes me feel now is just like that's what made me, you know. Like I feel like if my parents would have just let me stay at home, I would have just done nothing with my life, you know. Yeah. So that's why now I say yeah. like I gotta be something in life for my family because they have worked so hard the whole life. Where. Somebody has to appreciate them and then just take them forward in life, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Hey, man, that's a banger, bro. <laughs> that's that. Look, this is that 12 p.m. drunk shit. But I feel like us being drunk, man, to speak the truth. Yes, guys, you're not going to hear this shit from me. Probably not my boy. <laughs> Until today's interview, you know? <laughs> this is some fucking serious shit that I've never spoke about, not even on my channel. But this is some real shit. Yes, we're probably on a good one, but when you're on a good one, you speak the truth. You know? I think so too. But that's it, guys. How many likes do we have to get to get Jerry to hit the weed? <laughs> 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 They've been trying to get me to smoke a joint. They've been trying to get me faded as fuck. <laughs> guys, I'm not a smoker. I know there's a lot of you guys always talking about that I'm always stoned, this and that in my vlogs. No, guys, I'm not a stoner. But guys, ten thousand likes. And you'll do you, it. <laughs> if you guys show a lot of love on my boy's video, oh then man, we'll do it. Oh we'll do it. shit, y'all we'll heard it here, and bro. Right after that, we're gonna get my mom's reaction, and she's gonna be fucking. She's pissed. gonna hate me, Doña. <laughs> Disculpa desde ahorita la neta porque. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, if you guys ask for it, then we'll do it. Hey man, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the homies channel. I'm gonna have it down below in the description for you guys to go check out and on screen as well. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Louis Vlogs. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my vlog channel. So like I told you I have multiple channels. Sir. So since we're not smoking or nothing, um, this is one of those vlog videos. You know Just what I'm keep saying? It OG. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. uh thank you for being part of it, bro. Thank you for having me on the channel. If you guys want to see me on the other channel smoking some fucking weed, <laughs> do your thing and like this video and we'll get that shit going. God.